Hi, in this video we will learn how to apply sequential regression analysis or hierarchical regression analysis in SPSS. So this is a data set and it has five variables. Experience, competence, salary, working environment and performance. Here performance is the dependent variable and rest of four these variables, these four variables, these are the independent variables. So let's uh, see how we can run a sequential analysis or a logical analysis. So go to the menu bar and click analyze, then regression, then linear. And then let me first reset all uh, the box then first you see here the first box is for dependent variable so here is performance uh, bring it here in the dependent variable box then in this box we have to put independent variables so first variable bring it here and then click next then bring next variable here next then third variable and finally last variable now click statistics and here we need R square change then we also need coordinated diagnosis so that we can assess whether there is some threat of multicollinearity or not and also check covariance matrix continue and just click it ok so here we go so you see the first table is uh, uh, containing list of variables so it's telling that the dependent variable is performance uh, these four variables these are the independent variables or predictors model summary is is presented in next table you see we have four models in model one we have only one dependent variable and one independent variable and independent variable is experience and r square is 0.30 305 that means 30% variation in the dependent variable mean performance is being explained by this model now the next one is uh, uh, second model is having two predictors experience as well as the competence and you see here the R square is uh, 0.596 it is certainly higher than this one so that means there is positive contribution by addition of the second variable and how much is the addition uh, in R square you see here so, so here you see 0.291 mean 29% uh, uh, value has been added by the second variable by the addition of second variable that is basically the competence in the third model you see here so we have three predictors experience competence and salary and uh, uh, you see here the R square has further improved to 0.679 and uh, uh, incremental change is 0 0.084 so so means that uh, it is uh, smaller than the previous one but still there is some improvement in the model in the next one you see the last uh, model we have the four predictors experience competence salary and uh, working environment so you see our scale has further improved but the improvement is only only 0 0.017 mean uh, you, you can say 1.7 percent improvement has taken place uh, with the addition of last variable with the working environment of the model so coming to next uh, you see here uh, in the next table In the next table you see here so we have f statistics so first model you see it is significant so model is fit second model is also statistically fit third one is also fit fourth one means all four models are statistically fit so then uh, uh, is the 
In other words, we can say model predictability is quite significant in all four cases. And uh, you can also say the power of predictions of these four models so that is statistically significant. Coming to the next table, you see here, the, so these are the coefficients. So what we have to do, we have to look here, uh, first uh, beta coefficients, then we have to look the t-statistics or significance values, and also we can check VIF values. In the first model, you see, beta coefficients is positive and uh, is uh, quite large and is quite significant also mean experience is significant predictor of performance second one you see here so the addition of the second variable means the competence so uh, you see here so it's uh, beta is 0 0.602 and is also statistically significant mean competence is also significant predictor of uh, performance in the second model you see so the both are significant predictors right in third model you see here uh, uh, with addition of the third variables that is salary so so this is the beta coefficients and uh, and it is also statistically significant and the last model you see here so the work experience so it's also positive and is also statistically significant as uh, significance value is less than 0 0.05. Coming to VIF, VIF value, you see these are reasonable, they are within acceptable limit. So it means there's no threat, no big threat of multicollinearity. Now, one thing uh, which is coming out of this analysis is that every value is adding certain value in the model in the last model you see here the last one so it clearly shows that the all four variables they are significant predictor of performance however uh, if, we, if we want to compare uh, the relative contribution of them uh, each variable then let's look at the standardized beta coefficients so look at here so highest value is coming from competence so it's it's 0.416 and uh, followed by experience and then is uh, salary and the last one is uh, work environment All right so i so said this is how we can interpret the results and next table you see so this is a table which talks about uh, excluded variables contribution I mean if they were they had been included in the model how much value they would have added into the model for example in the first model which included only only experience but if these two variables are also included you will see beta us would uh, be second would be uh, quite large and also T statistics will be statist statistically significant and in the second model also see similar kind of the finding is coming in the last model also similar finding is coming so this is how we carry out sequential analysis sequential regression analysis or hierarchical regression analysis in SPSS thanks for watching